you see Freddy violently start as uh, a part of you brushes on him. He's like, ah, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> of course. I uh, slowly uh, nudge them back in the direction of the camp. Ah, who, who, there we go. Back this way, mate. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. You guys back towards the smell of marshmallows. <laughs> you guys eventually reach the camp again. Uh, the guards who are like keeping an eye on you look at each other, and uh, one of them goes, the other one goes. <laughs> <laughs> on the way back before we get there, I take the camera out of my pocket and put it in Freddie's hand. It gives hand. you, it feels like uh, um, some something small with a big fucking sharp spike on the end, and it's got sap on it. Hey, you go. Some technology there for you, Freddy. Oh, you... oh wait, wait. Uh, if they see this, they're going to freak out. So, yes. uh... Keep it. Keep it well hidden. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in my backpack. Like, okay. Carefully, like... and inspect it later. Yeah. No problem. You guys make your way back into camp, sit around, eat marshmallows, and... There's a didgeridoo. Holy shit! Somebody's left a didgeridoo on this tree stump or tree tree thing here. You're sitting on. I'm gonna go wash my hands and all that, and uh, I'm gonna sit down next to the fire. Excuse me, sir. Only... Are you are you gonna attempt to play your didgeridoo or no? <laughs> yeah, I was going to. Go for it. Let's see here. Mm. Oh, right. shit. oh nice. all of the all of the uh the the four well-dressed people like glide over and stand around him as you go wow 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 so yeah they they all and after afterward they they Nice. And afterward, uh, everybody, all the guards and stuff, look at the well-dressed people who applaud, and then everybody applauds. <laughs> I stand up and bow. Um, right. Uh, one of one of them uh, uh, hands you a. Uh, uh, um, Three strange-looking uh, bills. Ah. It looks like some money. Not even sure what it is or what it's called or anything like that. Right down, you have three B N on it on you. Three B Bravo Bravo November. I'll tell you what that stands for if you ever find out. They look impressed, and then they glide back after after it's clear that you've gotten done. They go back and hang out. Uh, eventually, the next day, all the fancy dressed people are back in their locked up uh, uh, caravans. They went into them well before dawn, and uh, everything gets packed up. The campfires are they make really sure that everything's put out and all that. Uh, they rake rake uh, stuff over it, everything. Um, everything gets cleaned up. You guys are offered food and water. <laughs> and uh, then you guys continue traveling. The next day, the only interesting thing, well, until something else happens, is in the uh, in a tree, a blob of silver is seen. It's pointed out to uh, uh, people or to you guys, and everybody, give me an empathy roll. It it looks like kind of a imagine a uh, pool of mercury kind of perched on the side of a tree. Hmm. The caravan does not stop. Hmm. Every, everybody makes it. Uh, the the caravan seems kind of nervous about it, but they just keep going. Hmm. Um, if we have any, if, if the caravan takes a break at some point, while we're like going to take a piss or something, I want to try and investigate this camera. 
and private. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, eventually uh, a break is going to be taken. You go check out the camera in private. Uh, do you have any kind of technology skill, electronics, something like that? Uh, a lot, yeah. What, what do you want? Uh, sure. Uh, electronics would be fine. Okay. I mean, now keep in mind, this is just looking externally because you, yeah, unless yeah. you want to try to me use rock smash. Right. It, it's part of a uh, uh, juicer that was nailed to a pine tree. Uh, this is this is the part that uh, helps separate some of the uh, pulp. So yeah, it's a, it's <laughs> a juicer piece. Considered like part of a security system, security system more. Sure. Hey, and Freddie's like, it's a juicer. I it, possibly you're guessing it might be a micro, uh, a Wi-Fi micro camera type thing. Yeah, it's probably still on, Freddie. If there's I no, it shows, it shows Freddie looking in the end when you say that, and he goes. <laughs> But where does the juice go? I don't understand. <laughs> you have to milk yeah, it. The technology in the future is quite amazing, Freddie. Yeah. This is Robin's doing amazing things with nanotechnology. Why does the juice have Wi Fi? Well, why <laughs> Everything's connected in the future, Freddie. If your juice is running well on fruits, it'll order more for you. Can I tell if it's been powered? Uh, not without uh, getting into it and touching it with different things and all that stuff. Uh, I have locked it. Can I open it? Uh, not elegantly. <laughs> You're in the forest with a couple of pieces of bent metal, and whatever this is is super high tech and stuff. In fact, you don't even see any screws and stuff on it. Uh, Possibly because of the a, uh, I've got a little multi tool here if, uh, if you decide you want to open oh, it. Yeah, I have it. another one as well, yeah. Yeah, uh, but you pretty much have to break it up. You're not the juicers of the future are wondrous indeed. Uh, hmm. Question: um, Obviously, I've gotten a couple more cards here. Can I play them to get rid of them, or do I have to discard to four before I can play one? Discard to four, then you can play them. Thank you. Let's see if I have any spells that might help. Analyze juicer. Analyze juicer advanced. Make a juice. Make juice advanced. I hate um, this spell tree you stuck me on, Logan. Mm -hmm. Give me my juice, boy. <laughs> uh, okay, now I want to try. <clears throat> Keep in mind uh, when when you cast a spell, because you guys are barely away from the thing, kind of in bush, like you're peeing together, all of you and. <laughs> Um, when you cast a spell, you make as much noise as those people who think their cell phones are walkie-talkies. How far away are we from the caravan? Not very open? far because you're worried about getting jumped by something else. Um, I know Fred, you're paranoid about this, and rightly so. I know, I know. You're Freddy, would, you, would you like to have been there, done that card, Freddy? What was that, dude? Um... Roll a D3 and increase the sanity you lost to a category of your choice. Mm, I have enough. He's got plenty of sanity. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody with low sanity yeah, probably, should probably use that. Yeah, I'll trade you an uh, opponent's fails for it. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, but that's what you got. All right. That's all I got right now. How do I, I trade? Had to immediately. I had to get rid of all my cards a minute ago. <laughs> oh. And let's see. See if I can drag this here. There we go. While they're doing that, um, I'm last, try can I, break it last, open. Can I borrow that flashlight you had? That didn't work. Um, send that to Rathlin. Oh, sorry. Say again. Can I borrow that flashlight that you had, which didn't work? Yeah. I can't right, so really pull it out and hand it to him. What I want to try and do is I want to try and cast recharge drain on the juicer, and if there's any power in it, transfer it to the flashlight. So two different spells. No, it's one spell. Is it? It takes 
takes power from one thing. Oh, I see. It to another thing. Yeah. Okay. But if there's no power in the flash light and the juicer, it won't do anything. So. Well, you're not even sure if the flashlight works or not, but sure, go for it. Oh yeah, you pull it off. How <clears throat> how does this car work, Logan? The been there, done that. Roll a D three and increase the sanity you've lost to a category of your choice without losing any of your sanity. Um, okay, uh, you see on your your first page, not the skills, the one before that. Mm -hmm. If you scroll down, it has all the sandy loss categories. Yep. Just roll a D3 and uh, put in whatever points you want into whatever category you'd like. If you want to put it uh, toward sandy loss for marriage, for example, you could do that or uh, cannibalism. They're very closely linked. <laughs> anyway, that's what the spell does. Logan. Good so, man. Does that, does that okay. Um, uh, doesn't appear to, but the spell works. You get a check. Hmm. Okay. I tried to turn on the flashlight. Give me a willpower times four roll. Nope. The flashlight's yeah. broken. Uh, I had it back to us. Hmm. Put it back in the backpack? Well, if the juicer did have power in it, it no longer does. So I'll keep it with me for now. Okay. Yeah, I figure later you might want to dissect it and learn more about the technology of the future. Hmm. Yes. We're going to start the juicer business. No problem. Eventually, you guys, uh, the caravan makes it to, uh, it looks like it, possibly its final destination. The people are really nice to you, but it's obvious you're kind of being cut loose from the caravan. But, you know, they're, they're, <clears throat> they were nice to you. Um, and here's some description. I'm going to show you some pictures. They'll make at least two of the people here, or at least one of the people here chuckle. It looks like a city up in the trees, upper left-hand corner. I hate you. <laughs> High up in the trees as well. Um, you guys are currently at the bottoms of the trees. There's no wall, gate, or defenses. Uh, all the buildings are built on huge circular platforms up in the trees. Uh, small wooden platforms with no uh, rails nor sides raise and lower via uh, mechanical means uh, up to the platforms in the trees. The tree platforms themselves are connected via rope and wood bridges. Uh, there's no buildings close to the edges of the platform, nor are there any railings or safety things up there. <clears throat> it looks like the minimum height for a uh, uh, platform up there is 20 meters. Really fucking high. That's I look feet. around for any hairy people. Nope. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, there's no buildings at ground level for some reason. And uh, contingents of guards man the elevators that seem to be three meter by three meter platforms that go up to the tree city thing. And uh, the guards themselves here are wearing armor, but they have no weapons. Give me evidence analysis rolls. Uh, Swade, you think that the, uh, the, the platforms may be part of living trees that are sprouting and then dying, and then a new tree comes in. You're not really sure how this works. I cry, and then I cheer, and then I cry, and then I cheer. <laughs> Uh, the other two, uh, they're a small team of people who seem to operate the lift. You can't tell if they're using objects, spells, or both to make the platforms go up and down. Uh, there's merchants and such coming and going. Uh, the only shit on the ground level is merchant wagons that are loading and offloading and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> even though it would be logical to have structures here to house all the wagons and horses and shit like that, nothing. Um, nobody hanging out on the ground level looks super comfortable either. It looks also as though there's uh, three different directions that caravans come in from, and each has its own unique style of dress. 
the direction you came from uh, is the east, and that has the clothes that you've already seen. Uh, from the, uh, did anybody ever make a history roll on that? There was talk of history rolls, but I'm not sure if we actually rolled history rolls. Yeah, we're in cyberpunk land. Well, we're that's really right. really super cyberpunk land. Super cyber. From the west, this is their style. Even more super cyberpunk. Oh, I like the West people. I want to hang out with them. There you go. And um, there's, let's see, the, um, and then the other style is kind of a, a color coordinated tunics. There's some sort of uh, color scheme to it. Their guards, which do have weapons and shit like that, are dressed in red while the people who look to be merchants are dressed in gold and white, and the beast tenders are dressed in brown and green. The different groups are kind of wary of each other. Hmm. They're all kind of eyeing each other and all that? Well, they're mainly, they're mainly concentrating on getting up to the uh, city. That seems to be what everybody's doing, although uh, the different uh wagons and caravans are kind of like they're they're forming their own temporary campground but it looks as though the important thing here is to offload your shit and onload your shit as quick as possible quick turnaround time caravan comes offload shit loads on new shit go hmm. you said the merchants were dressed in gold and white uh-huh from yeah from the uh uh other direction I think it's oh, the south. Sorry, it's the south uh, direction is the gold and white. The beast masters are all brown and green. Uh huh. And then the guards are red. Guards are red. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> they, they also do, look pretty tough. The guards do. Now that, now that we see these new people, I'm listening. Are there are any of them speaking English? Does it sound like uh, different languages? You're going to love this. Uh, give me a linguistics role to hear what the uh, clockwork chic people are speaking in. Okay. Uh, but to wonder, I know that language. Tell me the language. I'll give you a fucking refill. Um, what is the name of the language? It's bit on Tatooine. Um, I can't remember the fucking name. <laughs> Um, or tell yeah, me somebody I, famous who spoke it. Uh, is it Waldo? Not Waldo, Wando. Uh, the flying <laughs> bug dude on Tatooine spoke that language. He eats lots of marshmallows. I was thinking, uh, it sounded like Jabba the Hutt to me. Yeah, yeah, Thank no, you refill, Jay. yeah, yeah. Yes, they are literally, uh, you get one card, Freddy, you're in the right genre, but I haven't watched the new Star Wars stuff because, or blocked it out of my memory because it's horrible. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, they are speaking Huttese. Uh, the people uh, from the south, uh, go ahead and give me linguistics roles. It kind of sounds a bit to you like Russian or something like, or Eastern so European. Guys, just so you guys know, I got a limited retrieve. Nice. Oh, cool. nice. So if there's anything on top of the discard pile or anything good, we're going to play. I said the last thing he played was the sanity thing. Yeah, I would I would save that for like a replenish or yeah. uh, All right. something like that. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully we play something good before I have to discard everything again. Mm. Are they speaking Ukrainian or something? Could be. Could be. Yeah, yeah. This was the uh, the clockwork people you were saying that spoke that language. Atiz, yes. The, and the clockwork people, were these the, the gold and white, the merchants? No, those are the southern people. The, uh, um, the color-coordinated people are from the south. Clockwork people from the uh, west, you guys from the east, well, the people you guys came with from the east. Nobody appears to have come from the north. 
you guys are just hanging out and watching stuff right now unless you want to do it otherwise is does there appear to be any major road leading out to the north uh no no they're uh the the roads are pretty much uh, in the other three directions are the well-defined paths as opposed to roads um but uh nothing to the north for some reason take card ralph for Hmm. Well, I don't know about you guys, but um, I like the Hattie's people. You guys say hi to them? Sure. Let's go be friendly. Yay. Um, um, yeah. You guys are friendly to them. They don't speak any English uh, other than an occasional how y'all doing type thing. For I'll reason. do my best attempt to speak Hattie's at them. You make random words uh, come out of your mouth, but go ahead and give me a Hatties roll. Uh, if I fail, it's only be really sad. Yes. I, I'm really sad. Yes. <sighs> they don't understand you, and they seem like, and one of them points at the uh, uh, elevator thing, and he goes, Gino so Oh, you want some help? Yeah, sure. Oh, no, no, help. Oh, you're busy. Right. I'll you guys want to go up the elevator? I think he mm. wants to go have a have a look at oh, this oh. fair city. Does anybody have a garbage card they want to trade for? Let's go have a Captain Cook. Let's take a look. Oh, I need to discard. Uh, Logan, can you? Mm. Oh, got sorry. a girl plus five and an assistant plus five. I could get one of those if you got something you need to get rid of. I've got good cards. I just don't want to get rid of all of them. Here, this one might be a good one for you, Reslin. I got an analyzed device. Figure out how something works. By the way, the uh, the more reroll. I I would like to point out the clockwork guys also have uh, robots, uh, powered armor, and um, uh, pistols and stuff. But they're all super clockwork stuff and look like the highly inefficient uh, clockwork masturbatory fantasy stuff. Oh, I really like the clockwork people. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of gears and sprockets and steam, and they all appear to be maybe coal powered or something. Which, if you're in some sort of powered armor and it's got like a smokestack on it. Chances are it's not as good as you're hoping it is. I want to say hi to one of the robots. Do, do they also speak or not? Um, the robots, no. They they just kind of like look at you. Can I tell how they're being powered? Uh, not without cracking them open, although they do have steam that comes out of them. Okay. Hmm. The the people go, ha -cha -cha -cha, ha -cha -cha -cha, ha -cha -cha -cha. I'm just admiring the robot. Ha -cha -cha. I'm not going, okay, all right. I back away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I point to the robot and give two thumbs up. <laughs> I think you get a spell on you, Freddy. <laughs> hey, Logan. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just kind of passively just follow the other two around, but I'm going to keep an eye out for anybody who's following us. I'm going to just see who's oh. taking notice into us. You know, I'm not really focused on. Yeah, doing. you you guys are dressed. Uh, everybody's dressed in adventuring clothing right now. Uh, give me an empathy roll there. Uh, only suede. Yeah, yeah. They're plotting on you. They're always plotting on you. Let's check out this elevator here. All right. This is the looks like the finest in platform technology. Uh, I'll greet the god in English. Hello. Uh, he goes. <sighs> they they send off a guard. He he makes motions. Wait here. They send off a guard. He, a lot of eye rolling and stuff like that. And uh, eventually, a uh, creature comes down. It seems to be about eighty centimeters tall for people in the old days. That's two and a half feet. Hairy, brown-skinned, ugly, dressed in rags with a couple of wooden knitting needles sticking out of his belt. Definitely can't pass for human. Could pass for house elf. And he says, Abby! Is this Abby, a dollar? Right? 
I'm Puddlefoot. Oh, Puddlefoot. I'm wrestling red. Not Puddlefoot. Puddlefoot. Puddlefoot's my brother. <laughs> nice to meet you, Puddlefoot. Hmm. You guys need a uh, uh, translator? Yeah, I think we do. We don't seem to understand anyone else around here. Y'all talk funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He says, I, I, can, I can be hired for, uh, well, 14... I can be hired for 300 teeth for the day or 14 blood notes for the week. <laughs> 300 teeth? Uh -huh. What? Any, any particular species? What? <laughs> the guards are doing their best to ignore you guys and helping other people onto the elevators and stuff. Was he already you're... on the elevator as we walked onto it? Oh, you, you wanted to, okay, sure, you guys are going on up. The guards don't care. They're not charging you. They're like, just get out of here. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, these fucking people. And he says, you guys traders? Something like that, travelers. Well, as long as your traders got business here, they'll be okay. Hmm. What do they need around here, mate? Oh, wait. Before you guys can go up the elevator, they do. A, they need to do a quick search through your bags, according to Puddlefoot. Fuck. They got to see if you got stuff that, that you're going to be trading. If you do, then they tax you on it. Ah, uh, well, maybe we shouldn't go up yet then, eh? All right. You guys move to one side to talk to this guy. Very pronounced hick accent. By the way, huh. there are no children around. You have not seen any kids. So this is a trading city there, Puddlefoot? Welcome to Bleakmere. Hmm. Home of the trade. This is where all the trading happens. All three of the Tri-Kingdoms come here to trade. You got any did money? This, did you say Tri-Kingdoms? That's right. I've heard that before. Can you? What, what's that all about? The well, tri -kingdoms. That's tri kingdoms. Now you've heard it again. Yeah. <laughs> so is that made up of three kingdoms then? Or? Look, are you wanting to hire me or are you just jawjacking me? Uh, just having a polite conversation. I pull out the uh, three blood notes, I'm assuming. In all right. Shit. You want to hire me for the day? Sure. sure. I'll hire you for the day. You can uh, translate and tell us about these fair lands. Here you go, mate. All right. Well, I, I, if you need more currency and stuff, I know where to go to get the currency traded in and all that stuff. The rates aren't too bad. Sure. I, I'm yours for the day. All right. <laughs> tell us more about your fair lands. All right. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> well, tell us start about this. The, I'm yeah. sorry. Here, let's start with this note. Can you read this note? I show the finished yeah. note. Yep. I'm fluent in all the human talk. It says, Logan desperately looks for the thing that it was. There we go. <laughs> it says, when you have become completely fluent in this language, Feel free to come visit me in Zofast within the Kingdom of Blood. Bring this note and the token. Signed, Celia Virtanine. She got a hard name. He spells it in English for you. Okay. You can now see it in the chat. All right. Well, all you got to do is learn that language. You already got a friend in the kingdom of blood, huh? That's nice. Everybody needs friends. So you want me to tell you about the lands? Well, let's see. You're, you're, you're almost in Bleakmere. Bleakmere is located in the Drowan Woods. Um... 
to the south is the Commonwealth of Zamora. Uh, to the west is the Democratic Iron Republic Kingdom. Be careful of them. The Democratic Iron Kingdom? Oh, Democratic Iron Republic Kingdom. And then, of course, to the east is the Kingdom of Blood. So, what was to the south? To the south is the Commonwealth of Zamora. Okay. They call them the Tarn Riders. What's to the north of here, mate? His ears kind of go, mm. He says, well... Depends on how far north you go. Uh, northern growing woods, of course. But after that is the Cockburn Forest. After the Cockburn Forest, then you're to the, the well, to the Fey Kingdoms there. But um, you don't want to go there. I mean, I'm Fey, but, you know, I, I don't believe that all humans should die. They do. Oh, you said, you said the Tarn Riders to the south, you know, that's right. Afraid of the Tarn wire strung from building to building those tyrants. Yeah. Well, you're Never familiar. No. no. Oh, he says, he looks confused at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah. All kind of weird shit going on. Yeah. Ralph seems happy. <laughs> you seem normal. <laughs> um, he says, hey, yeah. um, is there a, uh, in any of those kingdoms or in any of the lands, is there a barbershop around that you may have seen? Uh, I don't really travel to them because this is the only place in the human kingdoms I'm allowed. Otherwise, it's a death sentence. Is this uh, neutral territory to the three kingdoms? Uh-huh. Are any of the kingdoms at war with each other currently? Wait a minute. You don't know about the Silvers, do you? No. Okay. If you do any violence, then these blobs of silver come and kill you. They kill you dead. D-E-D -E -D, dead. If you do any kind of violence? Uh-huh. That's why the guards here don't even bother carrying weapons. Wow. Is that, yeah. only, is that only in uh, the city limits here that those? No, they're past the outer markers. They got oh, markers the, in the forest. You mean the dirty bags on the trees? I don't know. I've never been there. I last, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, have you seen the blobs of silver before? Oh, yeah. Time I live here. What That's why I need to get paid because you know it's not cheap to live here. Do they come out of the sky or where did it come from? No, they live here. Oh. Terms of, uh, if you want to know the history of this place, I can tell you how it came to be and everything. I think it was those blobs we saw in the tree. We didn't see anything. What are you talking about? Hmm? Hmm. What happened was, a long time ago, aliens or something came down from the sky during a huge battle between the kingdoms over two centuries ago, right here where Bleak Mirror stands to this day. The silver aliens wiped out all the army and they chased the Arab forces of their nation back to their own lands, and then they came back here. And these nations declared the drone wood should be left to the aliens. A traveling merchant came. He was a great man named Geld Garen. And if you say he wasn't great, you got to be careful because his family still runs this place to this day. Mm -hmm. And a second. Hold on, I'm just checking something real quick here. 
Yep. And uh, he made a mighty bargain with the Amalians, and he was able to set up a trading post and became known as Bleakmere, although the reason why has been lost to time. To this day, the Garen family is still the strongest of the merchant families within the city. None dare cross them. The last that did try was the Crisper family about 100 years ago, and they were wiped out by the strange silver aliens. Men, women, children. So thorough was their eradication that none today can guess where their holdings once stood. The Garen merchant family still holds sway within the town and connect collects a small percentage of each transaction done within the town because the silvers are fair and lethal it provides overwhelming peace and security for the peace-loving merchants do their trade the garen family also rents lands in the unwalled town for those who wish to live here buildings are not cheap but because the silvers love the forest no wood is allowed to be harvested, and so all the materials got to be brought in from a long way away and built up here. Mm -hmm. That's the history of this town. No applause at all. I see. I see how it is. Oh, 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 yeah. So clap, clap. <laughs> uh, I've, I've met the aliens before. I could prove it to you. You what? I met the aliens. I could prove it. Okay. They gave me this. What are you showing him? A pen. Oh. <laughs> See? It writes upside down. It's a space wow. pen. He it's looks impressed. Do you? <laughs> I'm right Too swayed from his friends far away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's incontrovertible. <laughs> so what was, what was the land like before the aliens arrived? Before my time. Oh. Okay. But there was a time before aliens. Um, or were they always around? No. Oh. Fair enough. So how is it the silvers kill people? So this blob comes just rolling on up and it comes up and it melds itself over the person and they suffocate inside of it. The horrible way to go. Reminds me of a movie I once saw. Logan doesn't actually know that movie. Oh, like Terminator? Oh. Okay. I thought there was a lot more bullets involved. Do you well, know I this mean, movie? I, it's blurry. The pen is blurry. too swayed from his friends far away. <laughs> You've got a pen that said that. That's yeah, awesome. I promise of course I know that movie. I've watched it recently. <laughs> Space Man. Uh -huh. Don't you need a baseball or something to make that work? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> not sure if Freddy's watched that movie or not. Yeah, I watched it. Ah, oh, good man. Yeah. He just doesn't like our old old timey movies as much as we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, We're a bunch of old bastards. <laughs> The uh, puddle foot. Did you mention something about uh, there were some holdings or something buried, and no one knows where? I don't know if they're buried; they're just gone. And whose holdings were these? These were these belong to the Garen family. No, the Garen family has their holdings up there. That was uh, the Silver family. No, the Silvers are the things that. Uh, Left by the aliens. This is a CRISPR family that we're writing about. Raslin, think about it. You've got a 25% chance to guess which direction the holdings <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out is who they belong to, though. I wasn't sure if he was talking about the. Uh, no, the CRISPR family. The ones who got wiped Aaron out. CRISPR is the ones who were wiped out. Mm -hmm. They did. Any reason why they were killed or they crossed the Garen family. Ah. I see. I got all my information from the official Garen family history. Wait, so the aliens didn't kill the Crispers. The Garen family did. They made a deal with the aliens. The Crispers crossed the Garens. Aliens wiped out the Crispers. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm.
So what lands do does the language that we're currently speaking come from? Fey comes up from North. Okay. That's from why North? people don't speak it except for me. Oh. But there are other lands between the uh, lands. If you uh, if you want, I I could probably draw you a map. Oh yes, please. I hand him a sketch pad and a pencil. Wow, I don't have to use mud and shit. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, I'm not quite sure how to do it without as much poop. Can I put a little poop on this sketch pad? I, I'd rather you didn't. No, all right. I'll do my best to do it without poop then. Let's see here. Mm, Ooh, shrink that. Excuse me a moment while I whip this out. Do either one of you have a junk card you want to get rid of? No. <laughs> Uh, I've got a skill plus five. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of that one. Let's see if you want that one. That's a good one. Okay. You're just going to discard? Yeah. Okay, I'll just put it in the discard pile. Okay. So we've got the that analyze device card. Uh... If we want to try using it on the uh, juicer slash camera to have a better idea how it works, or we want to try to save it for something else we might come across. I think we know how it works. I just don't think we have a way to utilize it or extract it at this time. Yeah, not in this area. <clears throat> yep, you're getting your money's worth from this guide. Yeah. Oh, I love him. He's amazing. Having your own house elf. <laughs> it looks a lot like Dobby, but not quite so much that copyright would be infringed. Um, <laughs> when you were describing him, I thought it was a Jawa. A what? A Jawa. Jawa. Um, Star Wars. I see. Okay, let's see if I can make this work. Uh, Jawa would say, you're teeny. It might be a bit small, that one. Reveal <clears throat> areas. Okay, well, maybe there's no fog of war on this. Here, take a look and see if you can see the map. Say hello. Oh, there we go. Yep, I see it. Hooray! We go to the mountains of death. <laughs> he says, well, some people do go to the mountains of death when they're tired of living. Uh, loving when the session's over, uh, can you... Send me the image file so I can upload it to the boards so everyone has access to it. Cool. I'll ask him so these are the lands. What would you call the world? Uh, Bigger than the kingdoms. Not sure. Hmm. Fairy tale land. It's never really come up. 
people mm -hmm. generally know where they're going. I, people usually refer to it as the Tri Kingdoms. So, puzzle put. Where did you learn to speak our language? Uh, we all speak this language. This is normal Fey language. Ah, uh, I see. <clears throat> it looks confused as to why he wouldn't learn. I guess it's my mom that taught me, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. I was only a child at the time. You should have the image file now. Uh, oh, there's no Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh. Didn't have to do it now, but okay. Well, no, you guys are doing stuff, so. Yeah. I knocked that out. Mm -hmm. So we're Sorry. in Blutmere at the moment, okay. Mm -hmm. Trader translator, I'm sorry, translator. Does he have any idea or a map of the trading post here, like what the different levels are, or, you know, because he said he's a guide. I'm the map. Yeah. Can you give us a general rundown on what can be bought, trade, sold here? Everything the Tri Kingdoms has to offer. You just tell me, I'll take you there. He says, not wishing his. So I have a to question. Be avenged. <laughs> who, um, who would I go to see if I wanted to have something appraised? Depends on what it is. I pull out a stick. It is 37.5 centimeters long. This is a stick, and every month it grows by two and a half centimeters. Tell me you're here to trade that. The tax should be very small. I mean, it's one of the things I have. I also have go, this. They're going to go through your stuff to see what you've got that can be traded. If it looks like it's personal gear, they're not going to uh, hit you for it. Uh, I have this. I show him the calligraphy set. If I still have that. Did I keep that? Or sure. did it disappear? Hey, if you want it. Hey, yep. he shrugs. He goes, eh. Yay. Will they uh, let you up if there is no, if we're not bringing in trade equipment or any kind yeah, of Yeah, but, you know, um, if, you, if you don't, I mean, uh, do you guys have gold? Do you need to go to cash for gold? We got cash for gold place I take you to. Mm. I mean, because unless you got money, there's not a lot other than just wandering around. But if you, we have no homeless people here. They are, they call it escorted from the city, uh, meaning that one of their robots grab you and throw you off the edge. I'll hold up on my gold coins. What would be the value of this here? It depends on which currency. Isn't that the token that you were given? No, no. This is coming from uh, oh, pirate. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. I was lost a little. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Could be a coin. Could be an ingot. I don't know. Come on. Let's go up to cash. For, well, okay. Sort through your stuff. If you don't want to bring it up, best destroy it now or hide it in your anus. Uh, I'll be back once again. What if we want... To bring stuff up but not trade it they're just gonna look through your stuff to make sure you're not trying to avoid the tax especially since you all are new here and everything oh, I, I need a moment with my like i said name. either break it or hide it in your anus <laughs> i'm gonna take out um a gold piece that's from gothic mm-hmm yeah, show it to him. Like, you see his gold, like gold pieces. pieces. <laughs> <laughs> you think this looks like something that they would uh, convert here, mate? Oh, sure. You, 
it depends on what what kind of currency you want to get because uh some people like to use teeth and blood notes some people like to use yekels some people like to use flurbos or schmeckles and some people like to use bap It just depends on what what you want and how good you are at uh, bargaining. Hmm. You think they're uh, interested in silver around here too, mate? I pull out one of the gothic silver pieces. Yeah, generally they're worth about 35 teeth-ish if you're good at your bargaining. Well, let's see. Uh, Kingdom of Blood uses flurbos and schmechtels. And uh, the Democratic Iron Republic Kingdom uses BAP. And the Kingdom of Blood, of course, uses uh, teeth and blood notes. And I'm assuming one kingdom wouldn't accept another kingdom's currency. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. Hmm. <laughs> of course not. Is there anything around here that's uh, in demand or uh, that is hard to find? New markets. New markets are always new things. Are always in demand. Interesting new things. Hey, things uh, that haven't been gotten from other places and stuff. Not like his his calligraphy set. I mean, you you uh, do you have any money on you, or are you going to be you know borrowing from me until we can get you up to cash to gold? I uh, I gave you the only three uh, blood notes I have, but I have uh, okay a few of these gold pieces and some silver pieces. Why don't I hold on to some of those gold for you and I'll give them back to you when we get to cash for gold and I can make sure to get the money back. I'm going to have to lend you to get your calligraphy set in. Or you can break it or hide it in your anus I mean, right now. I don't have to trade it. <laughs> he shrugs. Hey, uh, just They're not you good. If you, you, do you have three of them on you or something? No. I've got nine of these gold pieces on me. No, I mean the calligraphy set. No, oh. I have one. One? Who in the fuck comes trading with one? <laughs> uh, I, uh, hey, right. uh, what is the... Uh... You're not really traders. You're tourists, aren't you? Yeah, we're just sort of exploring right now, mate. Trying to figure uh, out what's needed, and then uh, we'll be coming back later with trade goods. Oh, you're scouts for more trading. That's hey, fine. What? You'll just tell them that. Why didn't you open with that? Talking all this crazy stuff, showing me calligraphy sets. <laughs> I don't know what in the hell is wrong with Jim. Yeah, gold and silver isn't all, all that much here and stuff. But uh, oh, by, by the way, the currency was paper currency. But yeah, nobody except metal buyers is interested in gold or silver. Hey, uh, what is the. Um... Spice trade like around here. It's decent. Uh, the Commonwealth of uh, Zamora, they they do a, they have a, quite a few different spices and stuff there. It's kind of a hot, arid place, and that apparently makes good spices. You just see Freddy frantically writing down Zamora spices <laughs> circle. <laughs> oh so yeah, a lot of the spices come from there. Eh? Sure. All right. Good to know. There he is. All right. So you guys are not really traders. You're scouting for future trade things. Great. Uh, they'll do, let them know that. Well, I'll tell them that for you. They'll do a quick look through your bag. If you have like multiples of things, then you'll be hit paying some tax. But if you don't have multiples of things, then you probably won't because and then he looks at Freddie and says really slowly, only an idiot would bring one of something to trade. <laughs> um, Here's your one apple, sir. This is all that will fit in my cart. So what language do the gods speak? Ah, well, a lot of them actually uh, uh, speak um, Hatties. 
Uh, However, the, they often may speak a bit of uh, uh, blood. Blood? That's right. He begins speaking Finnish. Ah, that language. That's right. Okay. Yeah, and some of them also speak, uh, uh, dem um, you know, uh, Zamorian. So... Mm -hmm. They speak everything except, uh, you know, Fey, because it's rare to have uh, people speak Fey, especially a human. If you guys aren't really human, you might want to keep that on down low so that you're not ejected from the city. And by ejected from the city, of course, I mean thrown off the platform, fall screaming to your death, that kind of thing. Happens from time to time. Well, before we go up, um, um Obviously, my colleagues might want to, to ask you a few more questions, but we just mm -hmm. need to go you and need, you need to, If you need somewhere private to break things or put them up your butt, that bush over there will be okay for you. All right, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> do you go to the bush? Yeah. Unless they do have something else. He looks at you too and goes, that boy ain't right. <laughs> 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 What do you do but, in the bush, Freddy? Um, I need to get rid of this camera because if they see it, they might spaz out. Um, how? What's the dirt like? Is it soft? It's soft enough that you could dig like a badger if you'd want to. Okay, I want to bury the camera. You have to dig like a, a badger because you, you're a burrowing animal. No, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'll bury the camera and my um, earpiece that made them spaz out last time. Okay. And trying to see if there's anything else that might make them spaz out. I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. You bury it. Oh, and a Bluetooth headset. I'll bury that. Bury that. No problem. It just shows him like with a bag dumping stuff in. <laughs> Nobody saw nothing. All right, cool. Deep up there, boy. Deep up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll cover the hole up. My head nice and neat. And come back to the other two. Cool. Mm -hmm. Give me a luck roll for something now that you've gotten that done and are not going back, because I'm curious to see if it will ever be there again, or if you should... Actually, I'd just mark it off your sheet, but, you know, it's up to you. You may go back and try digging. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll see what kind of condition it's in if you go back at some point, if you remember okay. to. So, uh, right. You guys go over. Uh, does anybody have anything high-tech in their bags? got uh, a flashlight they look at it rattle it put it back one of them goes but uh, the I guy have translates the... club and the anal refresher yeah that's the only thing that's like tech in there the anal refresher yeah <laughs> okay no problem they look at it one of the guards is like it translated what is this Oh, you stick up your butt and you feel bad. <laughs> he just wipes his head. Puddlefoot <laughs> 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 looks at you guys and goes, That boy ain't right. <laughs> That's for when he pulls all that stuff out, right? <laughs> Gonna need a bit of refreshment. 